Noctis Lucis Kylum. Welcome to this week's episode of The Drop. I'm your host, Fighter Kels, as always, and this week it's Fighting Game Christmas. And I mean, pretty much everything I'm going to talk about is fighting game, with except with a little bit of Dragon Ball Super and comic book movies to uh, to round it out. Or movie. Movies? Plural? Yeah, 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 plural. <laughs> to round it out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Tekken, Injustice, and a whole bunch of rumors that... Usually I don't go around talking about rumors, but the fact that the guy who um, is uh, stating these rumors is someone to be who's has a good track record and was actually the person who who leaked the Ninja Turtles thing, and that turned out to be true. true, true. Yeah, did I stutter? It sounded kind of cool. It sounded like it was on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, um, since he has a good track record, I'm kind of you can still take it with a grain of salt, but I, I feel like I should at least report this. So I'll see you guys next. So first off, we got this crazy stuff with Injustice 2's new fighter pack reveal, the fighter pack 3, featuring Enchantress, the Atom, and the Teenage Flippin' Mutant Ninja Freakin' Turtles. Okay, that's not their name. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, wow. So I guess, I mean, Hellboy was in the last fighter pack, so I guess... Anything can happen in Injustice now. Jeez. it's a lot of jokes going on already. Like, next fighter pack's gonna be Peppa Pig and Scooby-Doo and Mickey Mouse and who knows who else. But, hey, it's nice to see the Ninja Turtles in a proper fighting game since... Dang, since Tournament Fighters. Now, I know they had that little Smash Brothers ripoff, but... You know, that one, so... It, it ain't even about it being a Smash Bros. ripoff, it was just about it being a good game. It just meh. I believe it was called, uh, well, that's the trailer again, sorry. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. It was called Teenage Ninja Turtles Smash or something like that. It was by Ubisoft. Meh. But man, Tournament Fighters like the last kind of, you know, actual trying to be. But this, by Netherrealm, putting them in. Uh, awesome. And I like how the trailer, um, shows, you know, besides the Adam and Trancher's fighting and all that, <laughs> when the turtles show up, you see Raphael in a, um, trench coat, which kind of reminds you of, uh, the, the first movie that came out, the first live-action movie, and then another shout-out when they all jump to the old cartoon intro, so they, it looks like they're putting love into this, I can't wait to see how they play, I definitely really want to see them in tournaments, <laughs> I, I am, I am, I am, uh, excited for this all right then hey guys let me know what you guys think as always and uh, I'm gonna go to the next thing so I just saw this move this move I just saw this news right when I got up uh, this morning I wake up and boom oh yeah Tekken finals oh yeah boom look at this announcement what so after geese which comes out this winter uh, the next DLC character has been revealed for Tekken 7 comes out in spring 2018 and it's none other than Noctis from Final Fantasy 15 and they showed gameplay of him I was, um, but before that they showed like this little story thing of Lars calling him and and the other Final Fantasy 15 boys like talking to each other and it looks like it's it looks like they took their sweet time and they took they paid attention because um, this is actually a stage from Final Fantasy 15 that they put in Tekken 7 and they made it look like it's from Final Fantasy 15. I mean, they put detail in this stage. And uh, they also showed his gameplay, like I said, and they showed him fight, and he looks like he belongs. He, he fights pretty good. Um, they showed his juggles, they showed his rage art, showed him fighting different characters, and he, he has some cool combos and all that. Like, he's not, 
he doesn't look like he's he didn't he looks like they took their time to make sure he fit into the gameplay of Tekken 7 and that's I gotta give Harada and all them props over at Namco Bandai I mean that's awesome uh, I, I I'm not even a huge fan of Final Fantasy 15 I do like it um, I didn't get to beat it because I, 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 I started playing it and I had to do other stuff as you know with this with this uh, busy life of mine always working on something so anyways <laughs> this will be more time I put it to not playing as Noctis and I did playing his actual game <laughs> but uh, he looks fun and I'm not I'm not salty at all and uh, matter of fact it's kind of cool seeing Lars be the one who talks to him because if you guys don't remember Lars was in Naruto and Noctis has more than a passing resemblance to Sasuke I could even imagine a joke where it's like well hey Sasuke how's it going and it's like Noctis Lars who's Noctis you're Sasuke it is I had a lot it was a much better joke in my head that bombed wow not even an audience here, and I know it bombed. Jeez. So yeah, that's the final. That's the Tekken Final Fantasy news. That's the Tekken Seven news. Speaking of Final Fantasy, there's their own fighting game, um, the City. Gosh, I already forgot the name of the City of something. That's coming out for PS4. So if you want more, you know, Final Fantasy characters and all that, then look for that game. Um, I asked for freaking Terry Bogard and Baki the Grappler for for Tekken Seven. People are mad that's not Kiryu. I'm like. Pfft. Like, come on. I think, I think, um, Harada already had his, um... I honestly believe that even though he asked what we want, that he already had his list of who he was gonna add. So, I honestly think that our, 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 our... I, want, I don't want to say fall on deaf ears, but... They weren't being taken into consideration for this first batch of, of characters. Maybe next year, or something like that. We'll see who people ask for this time. Like, okay, the most people ask for is Kiryu and Majima from Yakuza. This one guy asked for Baki the freaking grappler. <laughs> but a lot of people liked my tweet. So I wasn't the only guy. I was just the only guy who tweeted, but <laughs> I had a lot of likes. Anyways, that's that's it for Tekken 7. Now on to this this news. Like I said before in the intro, take it with a grain of salt or not. Um the guy has a good track record though, so you know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next now for this next piece of uh rumors i was gonna say nothing like, news is a bit but um it, <laughs> on our kappa there's a thread called leaky leaks and the guy who's who's stating these leaks is somebody who does indeed have sources i've checked his previous claims and they all drew, came out to be true and he does have sources in different companies now the part i'm gonna say take was to a grain of salt is that a even if he does hear from sources, things are subject to change. B, things are subject to be misinterpreted or misunderstood. So take that with a grain of salt. But here's what he says about the following games. Um, and again, could be true, could be misunderstanding. But this guy, I checked um, his other threads. He sees people have called BS on him and, and then turns out he's right and go, Well, sorry, you do have sources. Excuse me. Anyways, boom, Jojo. That is my phone. Without me, for, with uh, I forgot to put it on silent. There we go. <laughs> From Capcom, Street Fighter V season three characters include, and again, remember what I said earlier about salt and all that, and this and uh, subject to change and yada 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 blah 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 blah. Season three characters include Sagat, Sakura, Cody. Saddam and two newcomers um, He said he heard two final fight newcomers from one source But Roxy and a Shadowloo doll from another and again like I said about mis misunderstanding and, and miss you know Even even he's like saying like even he's admitting that you know things could be He he can't quite He you know there's things could be changed and all that There will also be free characters added as part of the update which are Crimson Viper Q, Necro, and Oro. Everybody I hated to play. Critical Arts are supposed to be added upon its launch, but I'm hearing they're probably saving it for later. Color edit mode is something I was told that's going to... Not me, the guy who's... I'm reading what he's saying. 
Um, color edit mode is probably gonna be added. Ah, finally, I don't have to fight survival mode for colors. Man, I miss color edit mode. I used to play around with that a lot back in CBS2 days. Uh, that's Capcom vs. SNK2, for those of you who don't know. And probably won't be added until Season 4 or halfway into Season 3 to put in. Uh, this is because of Unreal Engine 4 um, putting out an update to finally fix stuff and they need to... It's going to take some time for them to like bring everything, you know, all, all this debug and developer talk. And this also affects Tekken 7 and Dragon Ball Fighters and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite as they all also use Unreal Engine 4. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Season 2 will probably add Star-Lord, Ms. Marvel, Asura, Gil, and The Lady. Not The Lady, just Lady. From Devil May Cry, I assume. Um, majority of people he's heard say Rashid will be also added, but others have said that Regina and even Apollo Justice might be added. Um, some of the other uh, possible people they're going to add are Star-Lord, Ms. Marvel, Green Goblin, Wolverine, Cyclops, X-Men, Psylocke, another X-Men, Magneto, Storm, X-Men, Deadpool, X-Men, Doctor Doom, Daredevil, finally, if, that, if it's true, Asura, Lady, Gil, Rashid, I said, Captain Commando, Nina, Dace, Regina, Jean, Virgil, Akuma, and like I said before, Apollo Justice. Um, he also noted, even even the guy who said, like, he noticed, curious, that they, they mentioned 11 Marvel but 12 Capcom characters. <sighs> we added up, that's 23, not 24, I meaning there's still a Capcom character that he hasn't been told about that they're trying, that they're looking to add. Four-player 2v2 is probably being added to uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Um... The next section is wild, and he's dedicating its own section to this that even he believes this is uh, probably not true, but here he goes. And uh, here's the claim, even the guy said that he even he takes it with a great assault, but that apparently that there's going to be a free update that's going to add um, for free uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, Daredevil, Akuma, Jean, and Virgil, and that... They're, they're looking to shoot for 50 to si 58 to 60 characters for the end game, and I'm gonna sneeze. So I had a pause there to take a sneeze. You don't want to hear me when I sneeze. I sneeze loud. Um, San Diego Comic Con 2018 is gonna now have some of these announcements, and yeah. So oh, and there's also gonna be a UI and. Uh, Graph art style graphics overhaul patch that they're claiming, and again, even he's even he's taking it with a grain of salt, but it could happen. Um, Resident Evil 2 remake. This is a uh, he's going by company, so Capcom is also probably looking for RE2 remake still happening. Devil May Cry 5 should be announced at PlayStation Experience with Dante, Virgil, and Nero all playable. <laughs> even I'm even, <laughs> even I'm having a, a rough time believing this one. I'm like, the the, the I'm take the MVCI one I could take, and the Street Fighter Five one. I'm like, yeah, sure, probably. Devil May Cry Five being announced. This guy does have his sources. He's legit, but who knows? Um, we're definitely gonna be looking at places and experience. We might even stream it. We might, not sure. Um. Is happening late. We were planning to, but it looks like we don't, uh, we, we're not going to stay up for that. Probably, we are still streaming uh, the VGAs or whatever they're going to be called. You know, the thing that Jeff Keighley does. We always make fun of it. It's a yearly tradition. We have a big announcement for that too, and um, stay tuned for that. I think we, we're going to have a we're going to have a, a, a trailer to announce about it, and um, that's twitchtv rivers so check that out again. I'll talk about it again. We'll, that's happening December. Anyways, for Bandai Namco, um, Dragon Ball Fighters, three DLC characters he's heard uh, floating around are Broly, Base Goku, and Base Vegeta. He knows it's gonna be. He notes it's gonna be controversial since um, there's already Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Vegeta and Goku. Um, 
possibly Bardock and Raditz and Goku Black in Rosé form being added. Um, they were made alongside the game, but are going to be held back as DLC, so that's controversial, you might have yet. Um, there is a Switch port in the works, apparently. Unreal Engine 4 is Switch friendly. So, cool, cool. Soul Calibur 6. Apparently it is happening. Oddly enough, he mentions that there's no Xbox One version that they told him about. They told him they told him they're shooting for PS4, PC, and Switch. Um I, there's gotta be an Xbox One version if they're working on it. Uh also they told him, again, they told him, i.e. he said she said stuff. One of the reasons that Soul Calibur 6 was never revealed for its anniversary year late in December, even though they were building up to reveal, um, is they ran into technical issues that sent the game into a mini development hell of sorts. That's the technical term for <laughs> not trying to. Uh, yeah. And uh, for Nintendo, well, okay, I'll go back to Soul Calibur. Apparently, there's some new mechanics, um, like that's similar to V triggers and supers in, super, in Street Fighter and such. Uh, for Nintendo, there's been pressure on Game Freak to get Pokemon's 8th generation out in hopes of a release next year. Oh lord, uh, don't do that Nintendo, don't force, don't crack the whip on them, I don't know. Every time they do that stuff, when you rush people, you get bad results. Um, or unless it's for, well, we don't know how far along it is in development. If it's close, maybe you won't hurt it. Depends where it is in development. I just, you know, I just don't want to see a botched, rushed game. That's that's just my concern. Um, he says, Pokemon Stars, that was real, but all it was was Sun and Moon ports of Switch, used as an engine test tech demo thing. But they are using, they are, they are working on Gen 8 to be on the Switch. Hmm. Good. Metroid Prime 4 should have more revealed in January. Some sort of new Animal Crossing, also trying to go shoot for 2018. Virtual Console is not going to be how we know it, like back in the Wii and Wii U. And the subscription service, and I remember already, I remember that, um, the subscription service being real. I remember, um, details about that leaking early, early this year already. So, again, that I believe him on that. He says, Mother 3? <laughs> again. Another one of those ones where, like, I believe a lot of stuff, but that one, I don't know. <laughs> Mother 3 <laughs> apparently might be real. And uh, Square Enix is trying to do World Ends With You 2 for the Switch, exclusive. Um, wasn't the first one exclusive for DS, so that makes sense. And Hearthstone for the Switch Blizzard is trying to work on. So there you go, those, that's, that's, this is my, like, my longest segment. Dang. I talk long on this one, but that's a lot. And again, great assault. The guy does have sources, but even he notes, like I said before, even he notes what I was saying could be misunderstanding between, like, you know, because the higher ups are telling, telling people, and people who his sources might probably are not that high up. So that's why, like, oh, one source he has could hear one thing, and another source he has hears another thing, which he even mentions. So get hyped for what you think is real, and uh, laugh at what you think isn't. All right, time to round this off. All right, so thanks to 16-Bit Jeff for this piece of news. Um, Warner Brothers mentions that DC films are... They're looking to, quote-unquote, reset the DC universe already for the movie universe. They call 2018 a reset year. According to an anonymous source, again, with anonymous sources, in the Wall Street Journal's report, coupled with news that... Flashpoint, based on the comic book event that led to the new 52 reboot, is close to landing a director, and that WB could be reconfiguring their universe carries some implications as to exactly what reset could mean. After 2018, Warner Brothers has multiple superhero films in development, including Batgirl, Shazam, Suicide Squad 2, The Batman, Green Lantern Corps, and more, which some of which may be connected to a larger continuity, and others of which may stand alone. Not everything's going to be interconnected like with Marvel. Um, it gives them more freedom. I, I, it's kind of cool. Again, anonymous sources like I kept kept talking about in the last segment, so 
you know, take what you will, yada yada. But, um, Flashpoint we know is happening, so they, they could be resetting some stuff, at least some stuff, so makes sense. Alright, time to talk about Dragon Ball Super next, because I... Boy, howdy. Gotta talk about it. So Dragon Ball Super Episode 115 happened. Um, a step down in animation art, well, art not animation, from, from uh, last week, but still pretty good. It wasn't terrible looking. Um, there was one part where Kefla was fighting Goku. By the way, what happened was Kefla versus Goku. Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Uh, they do mention him being tired, 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 tired. Um, Kefla, though, I do remember Goku saying that even fusing with Vegeta shouldn't be enough to fight Beerus. And oh, but the U6 Saiyans have a higher base power level. Mm. Sure they do. Yeah, they do, but I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's like really? You, you mean to tell me that 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 there's this whole universe filled with unkilled Saiyans in Universe Six? That oh yeah, you know why don't they just do that? Why don't they do that for a future arc? You know what? You six science don't like their god of destruction, Champa. They're gonna take him out. Uh, Kefla probably can. At this point, who knows? If if she's if she's at that level where Goku has to be pushed to Ultra Instinct again, like Jiren, I have no idea. I'm not a power scaler, but I wish they'd explain. You know what? If they explain a little better, other than saying, "Well, Goku's tired," or other than saying, "Well, you six science evolved differently," what does that even mean? They're still science. They just don't have tails. So far, that's all I've seen. They're, they're higher base power, but then it, it, they could say Khalifa and Kale are, are mutants. Didn't they say that for the Guinea Force? They were mutants. Um, it looked okay though. Uh, the actual fighting was all right. Uh, seeing Ultra Instinct was cool, but <sighs> kind of meh episode. And I'm like one of the biggest like defenders of Dragon Ball, like in, in real life, you know. But even I'm like, I, I don't know how I, I, I can't. If they if they had better writing, that's the problem. I the animation doesn't even bug me. Even if it looks like this all the time, that actually that's actually pretty okay. Um, but if the writing was better, it is Toei, because Toriyama just gives them these little cliff notes. Toei's the one who came up with Vegito fusing and all that, so Toei writers they they need to fi they need to explain better what's what exactly is going on with like why this character can stand up to this character when when we're watching Z and we had these things like Kuriding, Krillin, and Yamcha could not defeat could not hope to defeat Cell or Frieza. Right? When they were in those arcs? Or or Boo in those arcs, because that guy's so much powerful. And this one is like, well, no, um, he's a better fighter, so, yeah, doesn't matter. It kind of throws off all the things that we have saw in Z. I think that's why it's kind of hard for some of us to swallow it. Like, huh. I don't understand, like, you telling me Kefla could fight Champa and Beerus? And, and if they can't, well, give some reason what makes them so strong, because you're saying go... You're saying Jiren is, is on the level of that, of Beerus and all of them, maybe even above, but Ultra Instinct is enough to fight that, but I, I, I'm confused. <laughs> it's all a big ball of confusion. They need better writing. They need clearer writing. They do, it's like they, it's like they think that only the kids who never watched Dragon Ball before are watching. And they don't think that a lot of people who had nostalgia for Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z aren't watching these writers at Toei. I have no idea what, what's going on. The Toyotaro manga probably... He puts a little more effort to explain power differences and all that. So you're... Yeah, because it's one thing... I, I do shut off my brain. I don't think about it too much, but... When you think about previous statements said in the show, you're like, Wait a minute, why is this happening? And that kind of like hurts my enjoyment of the show to not have consistency. That's all I want. Good writing, consistent writing. But all in all, I mean, if I had to give it a score, I'd give it a 3 out of 5. You know, middle of the road. Enjoyable, but some things just, just make me go, ah, can't you, can't you explain it better? 
can you? I know you can. Let me write it. I don't write, I don't speak Japanese, but <laughs> at least I try and come up with some some explanation, some things that make people go, oh, all right, I'll, I'll buy that. And that's it for the drop. This is going to be a long episode. That 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 section of the leaks is is. I, I just saw the raw recording. Ten minutes. <sighs> so. With all this put together, uh, it's it's gonna be long, I guess. But hey, who knows? Well, we all know it's gonna be long, but hey, who cares? And let me know what you guys think in the comments below and on the social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Come come at me. It's okay. Let me know what you what you want me to cover. Tell me. And thanks again for watching. See you guys next week. And as for the. Uh, project, you know, what, what I'm planning to do, like, A-series, I'll try and work on that, I'm trying to get one out before, before December hits, or before Christmas, at least, alright, see you guys later.